वेलकम दिस इज एम सी वी दिस इज स्विच बोर्ड फर्स्ट वी पुट डाउन द एम सी वी देन वी जेंटली ओपन द स्विच बोर्ड वेर वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल द स्मार्ट स्विच एडोप्टर थ्री पॉइंट जीरो आफ्टर ओपनिंग वी विल आइडेंटिफाई द इंडिविजुअल कनेक्शन एज ए लाइव इन एज ए फैन एज ए बल्ब वन कनेक्शन बल्ब टू कनेक्शन ट्यूबलाइट एंड लाइट सॉकेट कनेक्शन सो बिल आफ्टर दैट वी मेक अ टैगिंग ऑफ ऑल दोज वायर्स एंड पुट ऑन द वायर सो दैट वी वन गेट कन्फ्यूज एज ए लाइव इनपुट न्यूट्रल इनपुट फैन आउटपुट कनेक्शन बल्ब वन आउटपुट कनेक्शन बल्ब टू आउटपुट कनेक्शन ट्यूबलाइट आउटपुट कनेक्शन एंड देन फाइनली सॉकेट आउटपुट कनेक्शन आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिसकनेक्ट द लोड कनेक्शन फ्रॉम द सॉकेट सो दैट वी कैन फ्री सॉकेट फॉर फर्दर डी सी कनेक्शन ऑफ आवर स्मार्ट स्विच सो ये ऑल डिवाइस आर टेकन आउट फ्रॉम द स्विचेज आफ्टर दैट वी विल रिमूव द कॉमन लाइव इनपुट टू द स्विचेज After freeing all five switches, we will make a common of one terminal of all switches for DC connection of our smart switch. So here you see, there is one terminal common and all the terminal are free from any connection. After that, we will open our smart switch 3.0, which is having in two protecting covers. One is outer cover, one is internal protecting layer. and here you can identify the ac connections group and dc connections group of a smart switch 3.0 here is a neutral this is the live hot this is the fan output connection this is the bulb one output connection this is bulb two output connection this is tube light output connection and finally this is socket output connection this is all are ac and now we go to the dc so here is the dc ground this is the dc ground black one this is the fan input connection this is bulb input connection this is bulb two input connection this is tube light input connection and this is a socket input connection so all are dc so after that we make connection one to one to the out ac outputs so is a fan output of the switch connected to the fan load and after connection we put a uh, insulating cello tape so that there is no probability of short circuiting of flash overs so here we put a insulating tape so this is the bulb one connection connected to the bulb one this is bulb two connection this is the tube light connection and this is the socket connection after that we will make a dc ground to the common of all switches that we have already made so here you find the dc ground is connected to the common terminal of the all switches and after that will make a fan input dc this is bulb one input dc from switches this is bulb two this is the socket input to the smart switch after that we make neutral to the neutral input of the board which comes from the socket terminal and finally the load finally the red one is connected to the mains ac which is connected after the fuse so you find the all those connection has been met and after that we will fix 
the smart switch adapter from the board to any means so you find the old connection has been met and after this we put gently the smart switch, smart board into its position and after making all those 